Hi, this video is to uh, demonstrate how to install Visual Studio 2017. Um, if you are a Seneca student watching this um, instead of a website that I'm going to suggest, it's a good idea to uh, find out how, how you can activate your Microsoft Imagine account and uh, log into Microsoft Imagine account and over there download Visual Studio 2017 community version. Now, if you're at Seneca, you can still do this, um, and later on, uh, if you want to, you can go to uh, the Imagine website and download that one, uninstall this one, and install uh, the, any version of uh, Visual Studio that you want. Anyway, so uh, to actually um, install Visual Studio uh, uh, community version, what you need to do, you need to uh, go to... Um, um, www.visualstudio visualstudio.com um, and then slash downloads slash downloads wait for it to come up then a uh, Visual Studio Community 2017 it's a free download click over here And download it as you see it's downloaded it's downloaded over here and open that application it goes through the installer uh, click yes if you get that message okay so it's gonna say um, the visit uh, what it does actually it downloads an executable from Microsoft and that executable actually downloads Visual Studio for you so click on continue and the download begins so after the download is complete as you see it's got I paused it and I just uh, go uh, through <coughs> uh, <coughs> downloading and then it gets installed so installation is complete I just pause it because the process of downloading takes a while. And then the Visual Studio installer can resumes, as you see. So um, <coughs> this is what you see that it's coming up. Um, and then uh, I'm just going to wait for it. So then you click on install down here. So now you see, wait before you do the installation. Uh, you may you have to make sure that desktop development with C++ is checked all right and you can select uh, say the two top SDKs over here as you see um, the, the, uh, the SDKs are different versions of the compiler that this integrated development environment is installing having those things available um, make your Visual Studio capable of working with different versions of uh, uh, Visual Studio everywhere. So it's a good idea to have that one. If you click on this one, C++ CLI support, it's a command line interface gets uh, installed too, so you can actually um, compile your C code uh, using the command line too. Having them doesn't hurt. Let's just put it and we'll, we'll see what happens. The rest just leave it as uh, default and click on install. But it's imperative for you to have the desktop development for C++ uh, installed. For those of you who are uh, studying C, don't get confused at the, f the fact that it's C++ because C++ is a superset of C. Any C++ compiler can compile a C program and therefore there is no separate compiler in Visual Studio for C programs. Then click on install and wait for the installation to complete. After downloading finishes, then uh, the installation begins. Now if you look at the time down here, you'll see that I pause and it takes a long time for all the process to happen. So make sure you give it a fair amount of time. It's not something that it happens in five minutes. You have to be at your computer for a while depending on your internet connection speed and all those stuff. If you, do it, if you have a laptop and you do it at school, it's going to run um, quite fast. At home, if you have a high speed, it's going to run quite fast too. But um, on slow connections like public hotspots, you're going to stay for a while. 
as soon as the installation is completed you will see the message come out that it's going to reboot is required if this thing comes up click on restart your computer is going to restart and after that the visual studio is going to be actually uh, ready to be used so i'm going to restart and then wait for it to come up okay now the computer is restarted and um, uh, i'm going to go to the start i'm going to go visual studio 2017 right click over here uh, pin it to start so we can actually start it right from here i'm going to click over it <coughs> and visual studio is going to start um, you can sign in with your Seneca user ID and password over here. It's going to keep your uh, preferences and things that you have uh, the same place. But mm, for now, I'm going to click on not now, maybe later, and then and do it. So for now, it's going to uh, run as uh, an, an anonymous. Now you can different types of uh, um, themes you can choose. Uh, I'm going to go by default. You can choose dark, light, whatever you want. You can change as always in the settings later on. So I'm going to say start Visual Studio. And it will start. OK, now that it's started um, for our subject, when we're dealing with uh, IPC144 or OP244, the only thing you need is Solution Explorer. So Team Explorer, you can just close it. The only part that we need, Server Explorer, you can close it. Toolbox, you can close it. This is the only thing we need. Now to test it to see if installation was successful or not, uh, I'm going to click on File, New, Project. In the list of projects, there, 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 there may be many different types of languages in here that you can choose. Uh, remember, this is an important thing that uh, um, when you are dealing with uh, uh, different types of installation, you may have many different languages. You have to find Visual Studio in it. Now, um, to test it to see if it actually works with command line, you can actually create a, um, a console application. Uh, click on Windows Desktop and select Windows Desktop Wizard. Make sure you uncheck Create Directory for Solution. A solution is a set of projects. So if you are doing a gigantic project, you may have five different mm, applications written to perform so something for your solution. In our case, we are just writing a very simple desk. Uh, uh, console applications so this is not needed so uncheck that one and in the location over here select where you want your project to get created so we browse it say in documents I'm gonna have a directory created I'm gonna call it IPC 144 and in IPC 144 I'm gonna create another one I'm gonna say test app or actually you don't need to write anything it's going to create the uh, the application for you but I'm, uh, the, the, the directory anyway but I'm going to call it over here um, test okay you don't need to and I'm going to go in test and I'm going to say select folder so inside IPC 144 directory in documents there's a test directory in that test directory another directory is going to get created for what I want to test so I'm going to call this one test app okay and I'm gonna click OK and as soon as you click OK this dialog box is gonna come up make sure you uncheck everything first then check empty project so that's what you want nothing should be checked over here and only empty project should be selected and it's a console application exe and click on OK doing this We'll start, uh, we'll set up the Visual Studio for your application to run. 
properties you do not need close that one again the only thing you need is solution explorer and what you have over here there are several different directories over here created these directories actually don't exist on your hard drive these structures are kept inside configuration files of visual studio if i right click on test app and go over here open folder in explorer this shows the folder in which the direct the, the uh, your program is going to reside now as you see in here the test app there are no directories called header files resource and source file all the directories that you see over here are virtual and there are settings that are kept in two direct two files one test app vcx proj the other one test app vcx proj filters uh, you may it's possible if, depending on how you set up your file explorer that you don't see the extension of the files so you see only test app over here and the other one's got to be test app uh, vcx proj i'll tell you how to set up after this setting is done how to set your windows to show all the uh, extension of the file so you actually know what you're dealing with now uh, I'm gonna um, click on Visual Studio and bring it forward now to test it I have to right click on source files and click on add and a new item now in here I'm gonna go in here and name at name I'm gonna put uh, say test.c so the name of the file that I have will be test.c created on a hard drive so if you look at the hard drive right now you will see a test.c is created now in test.c I'm gonna say include standard input output header file and in here I'm gonna say int main void and in here I'm gonna say return zero here I'm gonna say printf I have just installed Visual Studio and go to new line semicolon at the end to run the program and see if it works or not hold the control key press on F5 that is the equivalent of going to debug and clicking on start without debugging every single thing that you want to do in Visual Studio you can have a sh keyboard shortcut for it so control F5 is one of the most important things that you're going to do several times so press control F5 it's going to compile make the executable and everything and then start running your program so control F5 oh I think uh, my vis virtual machines control is not translated so I'm gonna to go to debug and instead I'm gonna say start without debugging so it's equivalent to that one when this dialog comes up click on do not show it again even when you're working on labs at Seneca because it's a, just a nagging thing says this project is out or that you want me to recompile or not always you're gonna say yes in this subject so click on yes and it compiles it builds it checks to see make sure all the syntax is correct and everything and then it's going to run it for you on a console and show it to you and here you are I have just installed Visual Studio press any key to continue and that's it so you have just installed Visual Studio now the next thing I wanted to tell you in here how to make uh, Visual Studio uh, how to make Windows showing the extension of the files when Windows comes out of the box it doesn't show the extension it's for regular users so they don't care what the extensions are the types are written over here for us as programmers we need to know exactly what the extension of files are when we are dealing with them so to activate this so the full name is shown in the um, uh, file explorer open up any file explorer click on view and then options in options click on view and bring down uncheck hide extensions for known files so it usually comes like this uncheck it click on apply and apply to folders and say yes so it's gonna get applied to all the folders and therefore you are going to see this as is again if you want to carry your project on a memory stick to school back and forth 
the only thing you need to carry with you is the source file that you have written the VCX proj and VCX proj fil filters do not carry the rest of the stuff with you because they consume lots of space if you go in debug you'll see there are lots of files and there are big files you don't want to carry them around but this one this one and this one so if I just copy these and I create another directory over here I'm gonna say over here mm, my app now if I actually paste those values in here so as you see I have only these three files I'm gonna close Visual Studio now and if I just double click on test app VCX Proj it's gonna open the uh, Visual Studio of course you're gonna select it uh, which what you wanna open it with and remember it's Visual Studio 2017 I'm gonna click always use this app and I'm gonna click on OK and it opens Visual Studio exactly as how, how you left it and I'll give it a second to come up here's your test app and if you extend the test app you go into C in source files you're going to have test.cac and, and again if you press control F5 it will run and compile it so that's the minimum amount of things that you need to carry around if I compile and run this it runs perfectly now if I actually look at the folder which this thing is in open folder in file explorer you will see that in the test app that I created again debug directory and all the files are created which I do not need again to carry your project around you need your source files VCX plug and VCS plug filters and that is it thank you very much for watching see you in class